Toronto police have given more details on a crash that killed three people in Etobicoke yesterday, including the driver whose license was banned Canada-wide. Yesterday, March 31st at approximately 5.15 p.m., a white Cadillac XT6 was being driven eastbound in the area of Lakeshore Boulevard West and 8th Street in the city of Toronto. This Cadillac was occupied by a 36-year-old male driver. The white Cadillac had a relatively minor sideswipe style collision with the parked Savannah van and then came to a stop. Witnesses to that collision attended to the driver of the Cadillac and have reported to the police that they believed the driver was having a seizure and was unresponsive. Medical services and police were called and dispatched to the scene. Prior to police arrival, the driver re-entered the Cadillac and left the scene of the collision, traveling eastbound on Lakeshore Boulevard West. Approximately two and a half kilometers east of the initial collision at the intersection of Lakeshore Boulevard West and Superior Avenue, a 75-year-old male and a 43-year-old female were crossing Lakeshore Boulevard West within the marked crosswalk. The white Cadillac was continuing eastbound on Lakeshore Boulevard West and as it approached the intersection with Superior Avenue, it was now traveling at higher than normal speed. The traffic signals for west and eastbound traffic were red and the two pedestrians were crossing with the right of way. The Cadillac failed to stop for the red traffic signal, entered the intersection at speed and struck the two pedestrians within the crosswalk. It continued through the intersection without braking and collided with a parked flatbed trailer located at the east side of the intersection in the closed lane of traffic. Witnesses to this collision called 911. Both involved pedestrians and the driver of the Cadillac were pronounced dead on the scene. The driver of the Cadillac was federally prohibited from driving anywhere in Canada. His driver's license was also provincially suspended for medical reasons and there was a further third provincial administrative suspension in effect on his driver's license. Federal driving prohibitions are generally related to criminal code convictions. Uh, provincially, as stated, there was a medical suspension of, of this man's driver's license as well as a further administrative suspension. Well, as I stated, we're not releasing his name. Because we don't release, no, because we don't release the names of victims of traffic collisions in this city.